A very warm welcome to Science Monitor, your weekly update on what's happening in the field of science, technology, research and innovation in and around the country. I'm Tina Jha. From ISRO's first mission of 2021 to a Made in India spectrograph for observing the faintest objects in space, we have plenty in store for you on today's edition of Science Monitor. But let's begin with the headlines. Brazil's Amazonia 1 and 18 other satellites launched successfully by India's PSLV C-51 mission. The launch also marked the first dedicated commercial mission of New Space India Limited. National Science Day celebrated throughout India. Databases brought out by the Department of Science and Technology dedicated to the nation. National awards also bestowed to mark the day. Made in India spectrograph successfully commissioned on 3.6 meter Dave's Thal optical telescope. Designed and developed by Ares, the instrument can detect extremely faint celestial objects. And as we approach International Women's Day, we'll see what is the status of women's health in India and how NGOs are contributing to improving the situation. On 28 February, ISRO conducted its first launch of this year on board the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle C-51. This was also the first dedicated commercial mission of the new Space India Limited, the commercial arm of ISRO, popularly known as NSIL. The mission successfully launched 19 satellites, including Amazonia 1 of Brazil and 13 satellites from the USA. With this launch, the number of customer satellites from foreign countries placed in orbit by PSLV has risen to 342. Here's a report on this highly successful mission. On February 28th, Indian Space Research Organization made history once again. PSLV C-51 flew at 10.24 a.m. from the first launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota carrying Brazil's Amazonia 1 and 18 other satellites. This was the 53rd flight of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. Just 17 minutes, 23 seconds later, PSLV C-51 placed the Amazonia 1 in its orbit and in the next almost one and a half hour, 18 other satellites were separated from the launch vehicle one by one, according to a previously fixed schedule. This was the first commercial mission undertaken by the newly formed New Space India Limited, which was completed successfully. First of all, let me congratulate and compliment the team ISRO for achieving the precise injection of Amazonia 1 and 18 other satellites. The credit for su such a success must go to Team ISRO. This particular mission is a special because these three, the, the, the five satellite, whatever we are talking, it is coming under the, the, the new space reform announced by the government of India. And in fact, that these institutes, they have done an excellent job and ISRO has really promoted, handholded, and all along helping them to ensure that the satellites are built correctly, technically correct way, and ensure that this is launched precisely. New Space India Limited was set up under the Department of Space in the year 2019 with the objective of leveraging India's private sector expertise and opening the doors of ISRO to the private sector. It is seen as a positive initiative to promote commercial space missions. To further such efforts, a body named Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre, 
in space was also formed last year to create opportunities in innovation, technology development for non-government, private institutions in the space sector. The launch of Brazilian satellite is an initiative under these efforts that will further strengthen international cooperation and technology exchange in space missions. represents a new era of the Brazilian industry for satellites and development in Brazil. It brings uh, inside a uh, piece, the, the multi-mission uh, platform that can be used for other satellites. So it's very important. And I, I could choose better place to be than here in India with all our partnership. And this is very important. This is one step, important step for this partnership that is going to grow up very much. So uh, all of you here in India as well, I'd like to thank you very much. Congratulate for beautiful launch, beautiful rocket, and, and all the efforts that has been, done, has been done here. So we are going to work together a lot. PSLV C-51 mission was one of the longest duration missions of all time, including four in-space satellites, apart from the one from Brazil, and 14 satellites of the new Space India Limited's commercial mission. UnitySat, a combination of three satellites and SDSat prepared by Space Kids India, were among the satellites sent by InSpace. SD satellite had a picture of Prime Minister Narendra Modi engraved on its panel and also carried an e-copy of Bhagavad Gita. With this launch, the number of foreign satellites installed in space by PSLV has increased to 342 and ISRO aims to raise this figure further with the help of its commercial arm. National Science Day was celebrated throughout India on the 28th of February under the theme Future of Science, Technology and Innovation, Impacts on Education, Skills and Work. On the occasion, at the main function held in New Delhi, two databases brought out by the Department of Science and Technology on S and T awards in India and Indian origin academicians abroad were dedicated to the nation by the Union Minister, Dr. Harshwardhan. And besides this, various other awards were also presented to the winners. Here's a report. Keeping in mind the challenges of the previous year, the National Science Day 2021 was organized under the theme Future of Science, Technology and Innovation, Impacts on Education, Skills and Work. Professor Ashutosh Sharma, Secretary, Department of Science and Technology, Dr. Shekhar C. Mande, Secretary, DSIR, and Director General, CSIR, Professor Sandeep Varma, Secretary, SERB, and Dr. Praveen Arora, Head of the National Council of Science and Technology Communication, were present at the function held to mark the occasion in Delhi. Union Minister Dr. Harshvardhan addressed the event online. Two databases pertaining to science and technology were also released on this occasion. The databases include the Science and Technology Awards Information Retrieval System or STAIRS, which provides complete information about the s and Awards in India, including awardees and sponsors, and the Indian Origin Academicians Abroad database. You also may congratulate us on science and technology. और उसमें हम अपनी क्वालिटी की उसमें गुणवत्ता की बढ़त करें उसके साथ-साथ उसको कैसे हम काम में लाकर उसके द्वारा कैसे इकोनॉमी तक ले ले जा सकते हैं हमारे साइंस को उसके ऊपर भी कार्य करें जिससे कि साइंस की जो रिसर्चर्स की क्वालिटी बढ़ जाए और उस साइंस को उपयोग में लाते हुए हम समाज तक पहुंचा सकें to mark National Science Day, selected communicators, researchers and scientists were honoured with awards instituted by bodies under DSD under National Award for Science and Technology Communication. The winners were recognised for their outstanding contribution in the field of science and technology communication through various means. While writing science, I'm, I'm using Puranas, Adages, even film stories to create the interest of the people. Without creating the interest of the people, it is very difficult for them to read science. 
and they should understand and they should know that science is something which will affect the daily lives of them their kith and their kin and i am doing that the researcher selected under avsar or augmenting writing skills for articulating research awards for the year 2020 include dr sangeeta datta a post doctoral fellow from bangalore was given the national award for best story the first prize in the phd category was given to lucknow based researcher pooja morra New Delhi researcher Indu Joshi received the second prize in the PhD category. The third prize in the category was given to Shruti Soni from Bangalore. When I uh, got to know about this opportunity and uh, this was really a helpful thing that uh, I can mix my scientific knowledge and this creative ability to express my views and it can be communicated to the general peoples. On this occasion, national awards were also conferred upon women scientists who have made outstanding contributions to their field in the last year. This time the winners of the Women Excellence Awards 2021 given by the Science and Engineering Research Board include Dr. Shobhana Kapoor, Assistant Professor, Indian Institute of Technology, Mumbai. Scientist Dr. Antara Banerjee of the National Institute for Research in the Reproductive Health, Mumbai. Dr. Sonu Gandhi, Scientist at the National Institute of Animal Biotechnology, Hyderabad. And Dr. Ritu Gupta, Assistant Professor, Indian Institute of Technology, Jodhpur. The winners were honored for outstanding work in their field of expertise. The National Science Day commemorates the discovery of the Raman effect, which was announced publicly on 28th of February by the great Indian scientist Sir Chandrashekhar Venkata Raman. The purpose of the day is to create awareness and interest in the field of science, especially among the young generation. This day has now become a platform to celebrate the scientific achievements of Indians and set a direction for the future. Another endeavor of Indian scientists has accelerated the journey towards a self-reliant India. A Made in India spectrograph has been successfully commissioned on the Dev's Thal Optical Telescope. This spectrograph, designed and developed by the scientists of the Aryabhat Research Institute of Observational Sciences, has further enhanced the capability of India's 3.6-meter Dave's Thal Optical Telescope. Now, the instrument can detect even the faint light emanating from the distant celestial bodies. Let's take a look at this report. To understand the mysteries of the universe, light emanating from celestial bodies is very important to gather information, such as the position and age of the said body. However, it is very difficult to capture the movements of light in distant universe. Many different types of astronomical telescopes are used to detect this light. One of these instruments is India's largest optical telescope in Devsthal. The 3.6 meter diameter telescope operated by the Aryabhatta Research Institute of Observational Sciences or ARES of the Department of Science and Technology is also considered to be the largest telescope of its kind in Asia. The Devsthal Optical Telescope or DOT started functioning on March the 30th 2016 at Devsthal about 22 kilometers from the Aries headquarters in Nainital since then Indian astronomy has recorded many important achievements recently an indigenous spectrograph made by the scientists at Aries has been installed on this telescope with the installation of this fully indigenous spectrograph extremely faint celestial sources can be observed and the spectrograph is uh, uh, basically it collects the light from uh, any light source like uh, you know a terrestrial object or what we do in the celestial sky any stars or galaxy 
and it can divide that light into many colors. So in, in fact, you can see the spectrum. So you can see like a rainbow of every star or every galaxy that we you know, can see in the night sky. So this is the spectrograph. And uh, this is installed on the, you know, Asia's largest optical telescope, which is just behind me, 3.6 meter Devastal optical telescope in Nainital, Uttarakhand. So the spectrograph is used for observations of uh, many fantasy stars, distance galaxies, or even black holes. And the main emphasis is that we want to look at the colors in these objects. This device is named ARIES, Devsthal Faint Object Spectrograph and Camera, or ADFOSC. The instrument uses complex arrangement of several lenses to produce sharp images of the celestial sky and serves as a backbone of the 3.6-meter Devsthal Optical Telescope to detect and observe celestial sources of faint light. The telescope collects photons coming from distant celestial sources and the spectrograph sorts these photons into different colors and then converts them into recordable electronic signals using an in-house device. When you develop it within the country, you assemble it, uh, the cost comes down. So for example, this spectrograph uh, cost us almost 50% of what we would have spent if we had to import it uh, usually from outside. But uh, the cost is just one factor. Second factor is the maintenance. If you, if you are going to buy anything from outside, uh, the technology is with them, all the know-how is with them. So we have to be always dependent on them for any kind of maintenance or any kind of upgradation. But since we developed this spectrograph within the country and all the expertise, you know, all the know-how is sitting with us. So the maintenance is done here and uh, upgradations are done here. So the real cost saving comes in the operation over many years, in fact. Uh, so it is not just the cost of building, but also the cost of maintenance, which we you know, completely save by doing things within country. This feat, which is a step in making the nation self-reliant, has enabled the 3.6-meter Devsthal optical telescope to detect the sources of faint light even in remote galaxies dating back to the birth of our universe. The instrument is being used to study distant quasars, regions around supermassive black holes and cosmic explosions like supernova. International Women's Day, which is observed on the 8th of March every year, is an effort to accelerate gender parity. The day reflects upon women's participation in every field and raises awareness about issues hindering their development. Today on Science Monitor, let's take a look at the status of women's health in India and the efforts towards improving it. Healthy and well-educated population is a must for the development of any nation. But unfortunately, half the world's population that is, the women, have scored low in both the aspects, health and education. Despite the unfavorable circumstances, women have made their presence felt in every field, sometimes even proving to be better than men. Various initiatives at different levels have been working to empower women. These initiatives also include International Women's Day, which is celebrated every year on March the 8th as part of global efforts. The day not only increases awareness about women's rights, but also reflects upon changes that are taking place around the world to empower women. Yet for a large section of women in India, empowerment is a distant dream as they are still struggling with the issues pertaining to health, like malnutrition, pregnancy-related problems, anemia, and other diseases arising from these concerns. This is the reason why maternal mortality is still a matter of concern in India. According to the 2017 Global Nutrition Report, India has the highest number of anemic women between the ages of 15 and 49. According to studies, adolescent girls are increasingly suffering from anemia, which again is a matter of great concern. Therefore, continuous efforts are needed to resolve such issues. 
वेमेन हेल्थ बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज अगर आप ये देखें कि जो रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ है वेमेन की अगर उसको अपने बारे में ही पता नहीं है अपने शरीर के बारे में नहीं पता है फैमिली प्लानिंग के बारे में नहीं पता है मैंस्ट्रल हाइजीन के बारे में नहीं पता है माहवारी के कैसे हैंडल करें उसको नहीं पता है तो वो कब आ, इस तरह की शारीरिक समस्याओं और बीमारियों का सामना करती हैं जो कि पूरे परिवार पर जिसका असर पड़ता है The World Health Organization has taken serious note of the health problems of women around the world. Various projects have been undertaken in all developing countries including India by the WHO. The Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare of the Government of India has also taken several positive steps towards women's health in the last few decades. The efforts of NGOs working in this field are also commendable. One of these NGOs working for children and women is the Smile Foundation which started a nutrition enhancement project focused specifically on the rural adolescent girls. The NGO worked in 10 villages of Banas Kantha district of Gujarat where adolescent girls were given iron, folic acid and multivitamins which increased the hemoglobin levels in them and also helped create awareness about nutrition in the society. As a result, the region has seen the level of anemia come down from 78% to 38%. Banas Kantha is a place in Gujarat. So there is a belt in which anemia is a very big problem, especially under girls and adolescent girls. So we have taken some blocks there and worked there with some thousand girls. In Punjab, in Sangroor, मदर एंड चाइल्ड के ऊपर है पूरा प्रोग्राम न्यूट्रिशन पर बना हुआ है वहाँ पर हम वहाँ की जो लोकल आंगनबाड़ीज हैं उनको मोबिलाइज करके किस तरीके से ड्राई राशन के किस तरह से उन पहले खुद अपना हमने प्रोविजन रखो कैसे हम वहाँ पर सिस्टम में मोबिलाइज करने का पूरा प्रोग्राम कर रहे हैं और उसमें माँ और नवजात बच्चे दोनों को हमने उसमें शामिल किया है These NGOs are working in various parts of the country along with the government and provide support to the government for various schemes to improve the nutritional status of children, pregnant women and lactating mothers, nutritional solutions, accurate knowledge of issues and awareness about the need for a balanced diet are being created. These efforts are also showing a positive impact on the health of women in many regions. There is an age-old saying that when you educate a woman, you educate an entire society. Similarly, keeping the mothers healthy will ensure the good health of the coming generations. And now let's take a quick look at some other developments that made news in the field of science and technology in our segment Science Express. After the severe bout cold that hit North India, many areas of the country will now face a scorching hot summer. According to the recent forecast released by the India Meteorological Department for summer 2021, the maximum temperature in East, West and North India will be 0.86 degrees Celsius above the normal. However, the pre-monsoon months of March, April and May will provide some relief in other regions, especially in South India, where the mercury is likely to be up to 0.57 degrees Celsius below the normal. The worst effect of heat this year could be seen in Odisha and Chhattisgarh, and that can already be gauged from the fact that at the end of February, Odisha's capital Bhubaneswar became the first region to record a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. In the northern states like Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh, the maximum temperature can be 0.46 degree to 0.71 degree Celsius higher than the normal. Indian school students have discovered 18 new asteroids under NASA's Citizen Science project. This was recently confirmed by the International Astronomical Union (IAU), which gives the official name and designation to celestial bodies. The International Asteroid Search Project was organized by an Indian organization called STEM and Space 
in collaboration with the International Astronomical Search Collaboration IASC as part of NASA's project. The STEM and Space Organization works towards teaching astronomy and space science in India. In the last two years, 150 students from India have participated in this two-month project and 18 new asteroids have been identified and named by them. This is the largest asteroid search project in India. As part of international cooperation in the field of science, Union Minister Dr. Harshvardhan recently held a meeting with a delegation led by Brazilian Science and Technology Minister. The meeting discussed potential bilateral and multilateral cooperation in the field of science and technology. Issues such as health, medicines and the coronavirus vaccine were discussed by the two sides, besides topics such as biotechnology, energy, nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, cyber security, agricultural biomass, monitoring of atmospheric pollution and climate change. During the meeting, India and Brazil also discussed BRICS. India is planning to conduct a series of scientific events as the president of 2021 BRICS. India and Brazil also agreed to further strengthen strategy and networking for longer cooperation between scientific and research organizations in the two countries. So that's it from us on this edition of Science Monitor. You can send us your feedback and suggestions through email. Our email ID is news at the rate vigyanprasar.gov.in. You can also write to us. Our address is Vigyan Prasar, 5th floor, Prithvi Bhavan, Lodi Road, New Delhi, 11003. So we'll take your leave now. See you again next week. Till then, stay safe and think scientifically. Mm -hmm.